always say that food is very nostalgic and I always love preparing special recipes from my childhood just so that I can relive those special moments. I remember as a kid loving to go to Iran to visit my grandparents and um, my grandfather used to always take us to the pastry shop and I get to pick whatever pastries that I'd like and take them home. One of my favorites was a delicious cookie called Nune Gerdui. It's, a, it's similar to a walnut crinkle cookie. It's got a nice crispy exterior and a very soft chewy interior and it is simply something that's out of this world and I'm going to show you how to make it today. So let's start cooking. I'm going to start off by blending three key ingredients. I need some ground walnuts, granulated sugar and egg whites and I'll simply blend these ingredients together. You're going to want to blend the mixture until it has a nice smooth consistency. Pour the mixture into your pot. I'm going to stir the mixture on medium low heat for about 10 minutes. This is to allow the sugar to dissolve. It's really important not to allow the mixture to overheat. It should be hand warm temperature. And stir continuously to avoid anything from sticking to the bottom of the pot. And also during this process, we're allowing the walnuts to develop a beautiful brown color so that the cookie has a beautiful color once it's baked. Now some people like their cookie to have even a darker shade of brown and you can always add about half a teaspoon of cocoa powder in the blended mixture just so that you have a richer brown color. All right, now I'm just going to remove the pot off the heat and let it rest on the side for 10 minutes before I continue with the next steps. My batter has cooled down and now I'm just going to add rice flour, baking soda, a bit of vanilla and vinegar. And I'll just mix everything together and I'll allow this to cool for another five to 10 minutes, I want it to get to room temperature before I start piping it onto my baking sheet. While my batter cools down, I'm going to just line my baking sheet with parchment paper. I'm going to coat my baking sheet with some oil. And this is just to ensure that my cookie doesn't stick now that the mixture has cooled down to room temperature, I'm just going to place it into my piping bag. Cut the tip of your piping bag and shape little circles about an inch in diameter on your baking sheet. My cookies are now ready to be baked in the oven. I've preheated it at 165 degrees Celsius and I'll bake for about eight to 10 minutes. The cookies have finished baking. I'm going to open the oven door, keep it ajar so that the temperature cools down. This ensures that my cookies don't deflate and it keeps that beautiful shape that it has. I'm gonna leave it in the oven for another 10 minutes and then I'll be able to take them out and serve. My cookies are ready. And they look spectacular. They're beautifully sized. And what's lovely about these cookies is that they have a beautiful crispy exterior and a very delicious chewy interior. I just want to show you how it looks inside. It's got this beautiful chewy interior and a nice crispy exterior. And let me tell you, it is a very special cookie. Reminds me of my childhood. One of my favorite cookies when we used to go and visit the local bakeries in Iran. Mmm, so good. Hope you guys try this at home. And I hope you like it as much as I do. See you guys later.